Hi everybody, I'm Yotam from the Wix Playground Academy and today I'm going to show you how to build uh, some elements from this beautiful website uh, made by Emily, one of our graduates from the Academy in Europe. So we're going to focus first on the gallery page. Uh, I'm going to show you how to build this responsive menu here on top. So let's fire up Editor X and I'm just going to start by going to the Pages panel and adding a new page and I'm going to call it Menu. So you have an option to type it and it's going to be a completely blank page and I'm going to go over to the header and footer and just delete it because I want to build um, a new menu here made by buttons on the top of this section. I'm just going to apply a grid. So I'm going to choose other and I'm going to do four columns. So now you can see the grid. Now I'm going to go and add a button. So from the add panel, I'm going to choose the button that seems to me the most, the most similar one to Emily's and I'm going to place it here. Now I'm going to customize my button. So starting by adding the word work to it and then I'm going to open the inspector panel and go to the brush icon and start designing it. Okay, so let's start from the font and I'm going to choose Helvetica and I'm going to change the size into 33. Awesome. And let's do also the round corners. So I'm going to go into full scale and don't forget the hover. So on hover, I'm going to change this into the blue and I'm going to change also the border to blue. Let's see my button in action. Great, love it. Let's start by moving the button here to the top left. I can also use um, the margins here just to balance everything to the top. Great, and now let's fix the grid. So I'm gonna go into change grid layout and to the advanced mode. Every grid or section by default is uh, 500 pixels and we wanna make it responsive um, and not with pixels. So I'm gonna change here the pixels into auto. You can see that if I'm changing um, the grid into auto, it tracks um, the content that I have, the button. Let's uh, check the button right now. So the button belongs to uh, the left uh, cell, the first uh, cell, um, my first column. And right now it's in pixels. Okay, so it has 46 uh, pixels height and 142 pixels width. I'm gonna change into uh, fluid. Okay, so right now I'm gonna choose 100% of the width. And what we're gonna do here, we're actually gonna use uh, viewport height. So we're gonna use uh, five. Okay, so it's five uh, viewport height from um, all of the, you know, all of the size of the site in every um, breakpoint. So the way that Editor X works, it's cascading uh, down. So if I'm checking um, this on different breakpoints, um, it's gonna work like this. I see that I have a problem in uh, mobile, so we'll deal with it later. We'll do something smaller and we're actually gonna use three buttons uh, like on Emily's site. Uh, but right now, uh, I'm satisfied with what I have with the button and the grid. Before duplicating uh, the button and fill out the, the whole menu, I want to add a link to the button. So I'm gonna choose a page and this is gonna to be to my homepage, right? Cause this is where I show my work. So I've added a link uh, to the button and now using command D or copy paste, I'm actually duplicating the button and I can use this really cool grid cell to move it over to the second, um, the second cell. I wanna balance out um, of course here the margins. And again, don't forget to use, instead of 50%, use 100% to fill out the whole space. And I'm gonna change the text here into gallery. Again, using cups, and I'm gonna change the link here really quickly to the gallery page. Duplicating one more time with Command D, and I'll move it to the, the third column. Balance the margins again, and make the percentage 100%. Now I'll change this to about. And of course, don't forget to link this to the about as well. 
And for our last button, so again, using uh, command D, I'll change this into contact. And you know how to um, change the link later on. So just balance um, the button. You know, if you need to balance the margin here to zero and make sure it's 100%. And you got the menu done. All we need to do now is just to check our work. So we'll check the tablet and we'll check the mobile. So we know that our mobile is going to be too big. So we have a few ways to deal with that. Um, first, I can just minimize the font, right? I can make the font smaller. So I'm going to change this into 20 points. That could already almost solve everything. But what um, Emily did, she actually took out uh, about and contact. So using the three dots here, I'm going to use it on display. And she actually used three buttons only for um, for her menu here. And when you click on menu button, you'll get into the extended version. So uh, I'm going to delete the grid here and apply a grid of three columns. I'm going to make sure that goes to the second one. That's in the first one for 100%. And I'm going to choose 100%. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this to the third. We don't need the margins here. And it's going to go to the second one. And we're going to duplicate the button one more time. Place it on zero. And this is going to be a hundred percent. So we just have this gap here I can minimize and just change the text of it to menu. And this will link to a menu. And that's it. Now just check the breakpoints again and we can preview what we created. And we have the menu ready. And since we are using percentage, um, I can make the site responsive. So the buttons will actually fill 100% of the grid cells. Um, another good example is the cascading down and cascading up. So because I added on, on the smallest breakpoint on mobile, I've added uh, the menu button. Uh, it will only be shown on, um, on mobile. And when I'm going to go and cascade up to tablet and uh, desktop, um, then I have my original buttons. Mm -hmm.